What is up guys, Tabby here and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have my box from The Wizarding Trunk. This is actually their 7.2 box, the very last box in their year series. I'm kind of sad that their year series is over, but on the other hand, I am so excited about their upcoming boxes. Guys, if you are not subscribed to The Wizarding Trunk and have been thinking about it, now is the time to subscribe because I was actually just chosen as a rep for the Wizarding Trunk, which means I now have a discount code that I can share with you guys, which is Bookworm10. I'll have it on the screen and in the description down below with a link to their website. You can now use my discount code to save 10% off your subscription, and it also works in their shop. So if you miss any of the past items from previous boxes, you can use my discount code and save money on that as well. I'm I'm so excited that I was chosen as a rep for the Wizarding Trunk. You guys know I absolutely adore this box. Now I won't be a rep forever. My discount code won't last forever. Um, the Wizarding Trunk is really great about rotating reps. So if you guys do not follow the Wizarding Trunk on Instagram, you definitely should. And like I said, I am so excited about their upcoming boxes. The theme of their boxes is going to be magical lessons. So each box, I do believe is going to be themed around two or three lessons that we would actually be taught at Hogwarts. But not only that, guys. The Wizarding Trunk is working with Danny from Wizardry Workshop, previously Muggle Magic DIY, and he is going to be doing an exclusive set of book covers that is going to look like textbooks that we would actually have if we went to Hogwarts. And guys, these are only going to be exclusive to the box. Um, I don't think that they're going to be including them in their shop, so the only way that you are going to get these is if you are subscribed to the box. So like I said, if you have been wanting to try the Wizarding Trunk, now is the time. Use my discount code, guys. Grab your box while you can because if you have seen Danny's work, his book covers, pretty much any of his work, is so authentic looking. Like, I swear to God, he must be like a true wizard and he's just messing with us. He's like, I'm just messing with these muggles. Like, there, I, I don't know any other way. I'm so excited. Can you tell? Can you tell? Um, okay. Rain it in, Tabby. Rain it in. So guys, definitely, if you can, now is the time to try the Wizarding Trunk. But yeah, that is enough rambling from me. Um, I am so excited to see what the Wizarding Trunk has come up with for this box. If you watched my year 7.1 unboxing, um, the Wizarding Trunk decided to pull on every heartstring that I had and give me all of the fills. So I'm very excited to see what they have come up with for this box. Uh, so yeah, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and unbox this box. If you are interested, keep watching and let's get into it. Okay, let's do a sneak it a sneak. Oh. oh, it's a letter to me. Hey Tabitha, welcome to our rep team. We are so excited to have you as part of the Wizarding Trunk team. Here's some information below uh, for what's to come. Oh, oh, okay, so this is pretty much what I just said about the upcoming boxes and about Danny doing exclusive book covers. Make sure you subscribe to each lesson-themed box. Also, a few months back, we did a pre-order for a koala and kangaroo Patronus pen to help raise money and awareness for the fires in Australia. Oh, those were such pretty pens. We were amazed at the support shown for these pens and have included one for you. Oh, thank you. We were able to donate almost $1,200 to Wildfire Warriors Worldwide Australian Zoo Foundations. Oh, that is awesome. We do have a few extra of these pens available on our website. We personally went ahead and made a full donation for every pen as we wanted to donate the full amount right away. Information on our donation is posted on our Instagram along with some photos of the pens themselves. We hope you love them as much as we do. As always, hoping you're well. Dustin Ayla? Oh God, I butchered that name. I know it. I, you guys know I butcher names. Ayla? 
Oh, I hope that's right. And the elves. Oh, I'm so excited for these pins. They are so pretty. Sneak peek of Wormies. <laughs> First, I see a black box. Ooh, green tissue paper. It's a potion? I legit cannot even. This, of course, has to be the Polyjuice Potion that Hermione took to look like Bellatrix Lestrange because it has a Death Eater mask. I adore this potion so freaking much. Like, oh my god, that is so cool. Wow. Next, it looks like we have a tumbler with the Hufflepuff badger on there. I think this is to represent the Hufflepuff cup, which was the Horcrux they got from Bellatrix Lestrange's vault. That is ingenious. At first, I was like, why? What? Why do I have a Hufflepuff cup? <laughs> That is awesome. And if you guys recently watched my magical tag of 2020, I revealed a very interesting secret about myself and Hufflepuff, so. Hmm. I really like this. Of course, it had to be gold with the Hufflepuff badger. So yeah, perfect for me to take my coffee to work. Next, we have a gold box. Ooh, this is heavy. We have some gold tissue paper. It's the Resurrection Stone. Oh, he turned it thrice in hand and brought his loved ones back. Oh my gosh. Y'all, like, the part when Harry finally understood what the message on the golden snitch meant, and when he was like, I knew bringing them back wouldn't matter because I was about to join them. I can't. I like, I almost died. This is actual metal. Like, this, this is legit, guys. I absolutely adore this. That is, that is amazing. Next we have a candle and it says Inflamari Candles Shell Cottage, Cottage Breeze 4 ounce soy. Ooh, and it actually has like little shells on top with some glitter. Ooh, oh, 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 oh. it definitely gives me, um, What's the ocean breeze? Like ocean breeze. What was it? Cottage breeze? Yes, I like it. <laughs> and I love like the shape of the candle that they chose. Like that is just cute. Like with a little twine and everything. Yes. Next we have a little brown package. Ooh, it's the enamel pins. Oh, these are so cute. So this is the koala. Like, look how glittery this is. And this is the kangaroo. Again, guys, they still have some of these available and all proceeds um, go to Australian Zoo Foundation and Wildfire Warriors Worldwide. So definitely go grab one if you can. Like, I can't get over how sparkly these are. Like, they're so cute. And next we have a blue pouch. Holy freaking rabies, you. It's the diadem of Ravenclaw, but like a hair comb? I legit cannot get over this. Like the wizarding trunk, you're trying to kill me. And this was done by Dragon Air Pins. This is absolutely amazing. Gorgeous, like great quality. Y'all, this box is blowing my mind. This is legit one of my favorite items I've ever gotten. Oh. And I love how the wizarding trunk is representing all the horcruxes. Like, that is ingenious. Ingenious. Like, y'all, Dustin, y'all are killing me. Like, amazing. Oh, okay, I gotta move on, I gotta move on. I could literally talk about this for five years, okay. Next, we have a cute little pouch. Blue raspberry lip balm from Alchemy for the skin and it's final memories. So I'm assuming this is like to represent Snape's memories. Like those are legit some really sad memories. But let me hit the pause button real fast. In the movies, do you know how you see Snape holding Lily with Harry in the crib? 
You know he leaves Harry in the crib in a destroyed house? Like, you remember in the books, Hagrid's like, yeah, I got him out. The place was half destroyed. Like, Snape just left Harry in the crib with his mom's body, like... I don't remember that in the books, and probably shouldn't have been in the movies, cause, uh... But I digress. But let's give it a smell. Ooh, and it does look like a pensive. Ooh, it smells good. Feels good? Tastes good? I like it. I love when we get stuff from Alchemy for the Skin. I've liked everything that the Wizarding Trunk has included from them. Plus, it's lip balm. You guys know I'm addicted to chapstick, so I'm a fan. <laughs> Ooh, next we have an enamel pin. Oh, I really like this pin. That is the spell that McGonagall uses on all of the suit of armors in Hogwarts to get them to protect the grounds. She's like, protect the grounds. Hogwarts is threatened. And even on the card, it says, I've always wanted to use that spell. <laughs> That was such a cute moment. It is on the smaller side, but I actually don't mind that. I like that it's like the suit of armor that like just dropped down and it's ready to go protect the ground. So I actually really like this pin. Next we have a purple pouch. This is kind of heavy. Oh my god, the wizarding trunk. You are killing me. It is a DA coin. So on this side, it's your normal galleon. So if Professor Umbridge asked you to empty your pockets, she would never know. But on the other side, the message is still recruiting with a phoenix in the middle and DA. The design of that is so cool. And this is good quality, guys. Like, this has some heft to it. Like, it's metal, just... I'm, I'm running out of words, descriptive words to say, amazing, awesome. <sighs> You're blowing my mind, the wizarding trunk, as always, like. Next we have, it looks like a wood art print, and it's an old fashioned radio, and it says, keep twiddling those dials, stay safe, and keep the faith, and right here it says, lightning has struck, um, and I do believe that's the message that Neville sent the DA and the Order of the Phoenix to let them know that Harry was at Hogwarts and that they were going to fight. That is such a cool art print and I think it's my first wooden Harry Potter art print. So I'll definitely have to display it on my bookshelf somewhere. And we have another art print and it's the dragon guarding Bellatrix Lestrange's vault that the trio set free. And just like look at this art print. Oh. It's so detailed, it makes me kind of sad. <laughs> I honestly never really thought I would feel bad for a dragon, but I felt so bad for that dragon. Like, that was just awful, the way they just tortured the poor thing, like, for Lord knows how long. I was so glad when the trio freed him. Just imagine if Hagrid would have seen the way this dragon was being treated. He would have killed some goblins. But I love that you can see the broken chains. That makes you that makes me feel better. <laughs> But I would say that was everything in the box because we have the spoiler card. But on the back of the spoiler card is another art print. And I'm totally going to frame this art print. All was well, which as we all know was the final words in the Harry Potter series. And that is just gorgeous. Again, one great thing about the Wizarding Trunk, and they've done this forever, is they always utilize the back of the spoiler card as an actual item in the box instead of just like a throwaway item. Like they utilize everything they can. They make this box as magical as possible. And like, ugh. But yes, that was everything in the box. As always, you guys will have to let me know what was your favorite item, least favorite. There was not an item in this box that I did not like. Favorite item? Well, I mean, <laughs> I really have four favorite items that I... <laughs> which is the Diadem of Ravenclaw Comb, the Resurrection Stone, the Polyjuice Potion in the Skull Bottle, and the DA coin, but really everything was freaking amazing. The tumbler, the enamel pin, the art prints, the candle. I literally cannot even with this box. Uh, but let's take a quick look at the spoiler card to make sure I didn't miss anything. 
The All Was Well spoiler card was created by us by J.P. Mistlecrow. Okay, like, <laughs> uh, Number one was the Loyal Servants Potion by Pure Blood Apothecary. Remember, don't be too nice when you take the potion, and remember who your friends are. The charm for this potion was designed in-house, so the Death Eater charm was designed by the Wizarding Trunk. The Shell Cottage Candle by Inflamer Candles. The DA Still Recruiting Coin was designed by the Wizarding Trunk owner, so it was an exclusive as well. The Gold Badger Tumbler, and you didn't even have to break into a vault to get it. This was also a Wizarding Trunk exclusive. The Stone, turn the stone thrice in hands, but remember it doesn't actually bring them back. Ugh. Guardians of the Castle Pen, one incantation, and this pen will come to life and defend the castle. It works, we swear. Another Wizarding Trunk exclusive. Final Memories in the Pensive, Blue Raspberry Lip Balm by Alchemy for the Skin. Guardian of the High Security Vaults, no clankers needed. This watercolor print was created for us by J.P. Mistlecrow. The Wooden Radio Print, keep twiddling those dials, stay safe, and keep the faith. And the antique hair comb. This antique hair comb was designed in house, which was another Wizarding Trunk exclusive. <sighs> so, pretty much half the box was a Wizarding Trunk exclusive. But yes, as always, guys, I would love to hear what you thought of this box in the comments down below. And guys, don't forget if you want to subscribe to the Wizarding Trunk, you can use my discount code, which is in the description down below. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, hey, welcome. Feel free to hit the subscribe button if you want to join my small community of Harry Potter lovers and bookworms. And I will see you all next time. Bye, guys. Yeah, Tabby, drink coffee right before you film. <laughs> That's a great idea. I don't know what that was. I'm so shiny. Do you see the brown roots? Brown roots. Brown roots. What am I trying to say? Um, no, no. Oh. Bellatrix is strange now. <laughs> oh, I gotta work on my evil laugh. <laughs> oh, that was too too much, too much. Bring it back. Hmm. She more she he cackled. <laughs> oh, no, no. Oh, how did she she I killed Sirius by oh oh Sirius. Oh. Mm. What is what is glass? Jar? Ooh, what are these words I speak it of? Ooh, it's the... Seaports? So we can... Oh, my God. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. I, I hold, hold the phone. I gotta put my hair up. I gotta put my hair up. Hold on. <laughs> Lord, Lord. It's way too high, but... Now that my hair is a complete mess... <laughs> God, my hair. Apricot? Apricot? Apricot?
apricot. Apricot. Oh my god, which one is it? I'm blanking. McGonagall. It's a thunderstorm going on. Sorry. So yeah. Seriously, I'm trying to film here. Alexa, what what's another cinnamon for a cinnamon 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 for amazing? I don't think I, I let the Hogwarts battle begin. <laughs> Did anybody else realize that? Why would they put that in the movie? Wit beyond measure is man's greatest treasure. Mm.